Tonight's recap of The Bachelorette. It's time for Bahamas with the bows. Ooh, and yes, last week she finally got rid of Graham. And she finally got it right in her fat head. Graham equals Brad. Pretty much. So, they went to Grand Bahama Island. Right. First date, Jeremy with jet skis. Ooh. I so, he's like, I can't imagine my life without you. You know, and she was really adamant, too. Yeah, and she's like, what's wrong? And he's like, nothing, what's wrong with you? Yeah, I think she was all depressed because Graham was gone. Get over it. You know, don't be calling him out because it was you making it awkward. Yeah, awkward. <laughs> exactly. So it's time for dinner, and uh, he came out with this cheesy crap. He was uh, like, I would tell you that I'm falling in love with you, but it's already happened. Ugh. And she was like, I'm glad. Yeah. And he's like, I'm glad you're glad. Yeah. Awkward. Oh, look what Chris Harrison gave us. <laughs> fantasy a date card. sweet card. Yeah, not a date card, fantasy sweet card. And uh, yeah, let's go. <laughs> so that solves all their problems. Pretty much. So Jason's up next, and uh, they're going off-roading on their date. I don't understand the point of off-roading, but anyway. Driving went, fast with bumps. Yeah, they went to this dock, and they pulled on the string, and it was like floating dock. Right. And on the other side, there was a picnic awaiting. It didn't look like it was anywhere, really. It looked like it was in the middle of nowhere, too. They thought it was kind of an Amazon feel. Oh, yeah, okay. So, uh, yeah, they stuffed their faces, and Jason was acting all giddy, like uh, like he was <laughs> Ty. Did he have, like, a Freaky Friday with Ty, and Ty turned into know. him, and he turned into Ty? Deanna was liking it, though. Uh, she surely was. She almost made it sound like, oh, thank God he's not talking about his son for once, and he's thank paying God attention he's to not me. A stiff. <laughs> <laughs> that's what she made it sound like. I think that's exactly what it sounded like. So they, so they went kayaking, kayaking, which is always oh, fun. But they sucked at it totally. They yeah, were like bumping I'm into everything. They didn't tip. And, well, maybe they did. <laughs> I don't know. So at dinner, she was acting like such a slut. She was like, oh, you like that? Mm. Here, let me eat something. Uh. Uh, yeah. So, you like that? Yeah. It's totally <laughs> Kelly from last season. So, the two most important things in his life, he told her, are you and Tai Tai, of course. Oh, so she was really? like, <laughs> Really? Want to go to the fantasy suite room? Yeah, he didn't even finish reading the card, and he was like, Psh. Let's go, baby. Want to go halves on another baby? No! That's Tiny's right. a sibling. That's right. So, he totally snuck out and bought a sand dollar for her. Well, not at the date, but like, before. Right. And, uh, yeah, she's falling for him, mm -hmm. so she says. Those sand dollars are meaningful. They're very romantic. <laughs> so, last date of the week, Jesse horseback Woo! riding. Now that is romantic. They took those romantic. horses into the ocean. I think the, the horses took them into the ocean. <laughs> I think so. And they did a little horse kissing. Jesse almost fell off. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so did she, because, like, uh, yeah, she went flying. And uh, they had a little picnic on the beach. Oh. Very, very romantic. So he's like, I'm nervous. And she's like, I'm not. I've been waiting for this forever. Still, though, she should understand, obviously, they're going to be nervous because she's going to end up with someone. But right. They might not end up with anyone. If they make one little mistake, they're, they're out of out. there. And if this was the real world, it'd be like, oh, yeah, see you next date. Yeah. But it wouldn't just be like, all right, I'm choosing someone else. Right. Well, he's falling for her mm -hmm. hard. Yeah. Very hard. So then she whips out Fantasy Sweet Card, and he's like, I don't, I don't know, know if I can do this before I meet your father. Ha ha, funny joke. Yeah. Let's go, baby. So then he's like talking to her. He's like, if you pick me, you better be ready to marry me. Because I'm so ma ready for marriage. No, he was like, um... I'm there. No. I'm I'm so there. No. Something like that. I'm so... I don't remember, but it was hilarious. In sum and substance, it was... He's Yeah, right. baby, let's go. So, it's time for the rose ceremony already. Woo! Who's first, kids? Somebody. Jesse. That's right. Sorry. <laughs> you stole my thunder. <laughs> and then Jason, which means Jeremy's out in the cold. I didn't really like Jeremy that much the whole time, but I felt really bad for him. I liked him in the beginning. You know, I didn't appreciate everybody else picking on him, but 
at the end, I thought he was really blank. I didn't dislike him, but I wasn't rooting for him, and I just felt right. really bad when he went home. So he pulled out the old, uh, this might be the worst day in my well, life. Well, one of the worst days of Yeah. Life. Well, what about when your parents died, Jeremy? <laughs> Come on, you met some chick for like six weeks, could it really be <laughs> that bad? Yeah. Stop the so, car! Yeah, and then he was like <laughs> driving away, and he's like, oh, you need to pull over for a minute. I just, oh, God, I, God. I can't leave here. I still smell her. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So then it was time for the men tell all. That's and right. Boy, did they tell. The rejects are back. Mm -hmm. And surprise, nobody liked Jeremy. Yeah, they had a little nickname for him, Captain D-Bag. <laughs> Pretty fitting. Pretty Ooh. fitting. Okay, Whoa. so he thought they had a real connection. I thought they did too. Yeah, and he was pretty shocked that uh, she dumped him. Because mm -hmm. he's still in love with her. Mm. There went hey, the lights. the lights are back. <laughs> Fantastic. I thought it looked weird. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, so, Graham, they had chemistry from the start. Obviously. It the was only physical, were, though. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, he gave her that letter. But more to come on that later. Yes. And so, then they were like, what the hell was with you on that racing date or whatever, and you didn't kiss her? Chris Harrison was like, I know from experience, you kiss and then you talk. Right. <laughs> Good advice, Chris. Good advice. So, yeah, he still has feelings for her. And some lady stood up and said, what was in the letter? <laughs> Seriously, what, what was in the letter? Duh, it was about his feelings for her. Things he couldn't just say. Because <laughs> he's so guarded. He's scared. Is he a guard in basketball? Because his feelings are pretty guarded. In Germany. <laughs> They were like, Jeremy, blah, blah, blah. And Jeremy said, when did you know oh, yeah. that you were going to dump me? She was like, well, it was after the fantasy suite when I was with the other guys. Yeah. So basically it was like after she saw how much more she liked the other guys. Right. So it wasn't that she didn't like him. She just didn't like him as much. Right. Like if those other guys weren't around, she probably would have, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so Graham, you didn't fully open up. That Why can't you admit it? Captain D-Bag. He's still like, I don't get it. So, so she was pissed. Yeah, because she was like, what don't you get? <laughs> and they had Graham, their little bicker session. Chris Graham's Hansen just was being like, Graham. I don't know if you guys are going to make out or like rip each other apart. Or both. <laughs> wow. So they led that into the Deanna freak out. Yep. Where she went crazy at the outhouse and like was ready to like uh, just dump everybody right then <laughs> and there. And then Ryan, that crazy, crazy he person, is a -hole. <laughs> called out Jeremy as OCD. Obsessive what? compulsive Deanna. Uh, pay attention, Graham. They totally asked him a question. He was like, what? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I think he was doing that to make Deanna. I think so, too. <laughs> so, it's time for the outtakes reel. Woo! Guess who had the most mistakes? Deanna. Durr. She doesn't know how to talk nice. <laughs> <laughs> she don't talk pretty yet. Yeah. So, yeah, guess what, kids? A little She's update. happy, in love, and, and engaged. engaged. Woo! All right. They didn't spend much time talking to the other guests so much because they uh, could have used up a million hours of therapy on Graham and Jeremy. Yeah, alone. So Greg stood up, and they said, show us what you got, babe. <laughs> <laughs> he ripped his shirt like his classic exit. Yeah, he must go through a lot of T-shirts. I think so. They all have the little cut there, so it's yeah, easy to rip off. the little uh, perforated shirts. Okay, so let's get up to speed, kids. Jesse is left, and you know what? He's too good He's for too her. too good for her. He certainly is. And the old, as good as he gets line she pulled out of the bag. He makes me want to be a better person. Well, then take your medication. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so then, of course, Jason is the other one. And, uh, by the way, he has a son, <laughs> in case you, you didn't know. know. And he's completely in love with her. Uh, so then, scenes for next week. It's the season finale, and they're going to see Deanna's family. And they're going to have a little barbecue. And on one side is going to be Jason. They were both there at the same and time. And the other side is Jesse. Oh, and they yeah. totally grilled them. Wow. At the end of the show, it's like the little snippet, and Fred gets a date. Woo! Woo! Fred! Okay, kids, till the finale next week. Much, Much love. love.